Hello, and welcome. This is episode two of the Potato Cast. I'm your host, Steve Lang. In this episode, we're going to understand a little more about my passion. Not my one true love, but one of my true loves. And I uh, worked uh, many years at a potato factory. And we took just ordinary potatoes, bigger than those actually. And we made french fries. We made hash browns. We made peeled potatoes. Um, and uh, that was about it, actually. That's all we made with the potato factory. But... Fun job, and um, a group of uh, my brother, a group of characters worked there. But I'll explain the procedure. Um, how does that go? Um, um, factory, big warehouse, not that big. You can park two cube vans in it, and then there's still machines. So potatoes in, forklift off. Stored them in the cool area. When we were factory working five days a week, uh, we would pick the potatoes and dump them in the bin. And the bin would make conveyor belt into a big wash machine. The wash machine had special sandpaper. It peeled the potatoes. Uh, the peeled potatoes landed in the tank of water, and then it went up another conveyor belt into uh, a machine that cut them in the fry. Big fries, which is half inch. I don't really have an example, but they're thicker fries. And then 716s, which is the other size, or more of a smaller fry. And um, then they would fall into a bin, uh, a dip tank, they called it. Dip tank. It was uh, a solution, um, sort of like citric acid, like orange juice, but the lemon or lemon juice. Quite. And it, and it made it so that these potatoes that were freshly cut and freshly sanded that were exposed to the air didn't brown instantly, right? That was the purpose of that. And the job was to pretty much just make sure that the machines are working and then pick out the potatoes that were brown or green, uh, small, that weren't really edible. Um, the machine also made hash browns and it would take the ones that didn't look good or whatever super cold water we had to wear gloves and still it was still cold uh, then they landed off that into a bigger bin another bin and um when that bin was full we would uh we would just pretty much bag them there wasn't much else to that after you bagged them 25 pound bag put them in the cooler with the forklift and we mark them all at a certain color. It would be a certain day, made on Monday, made on Tuesday. I remember um, Wednesday was black, and uh, Thursday was green, and Friday was brown, and I think Monday was yellow, and Tuesday was blue. I don't know. Maybe Saturday was red. I can't really remember. Many years ago. Uh, then I drove the potatoes to pubs. They love the French fries. I drove the potatoes to um, uh, um, breakfast uh, joints, and they loved the ash browns. And they gave good deals, and there was lots of hearty plates. And everybody loved these fresh fries, because you can buy frozen, but it's not the same. And you can make it yourself, but it's a lot of work. And, um, and um, you know, pretty much... Pretty much that's about it. So now to explain a little more about where I got the love of the potato from. Um, these little things, these little golden nuggets, you know, they, um, my, um, my, um, my, my grandfather was born in Lithuania and his father was born in Lithuania and his father before him was born in Lithuania and they had a farm and, uh, and they uh, grew up on the farm and then when the wars happened they, uh, there was um, a shortage of food but they grew potatoes and they, shaved, they had sheep and they shaved sheep for the wool 
But when the Second War came, they abandoned the farm and they went to uh, uh, Austria because they didn't want to feed Stalin's Red Army with the bare minimum food that they needed to survive with. Nor did, nor did my great-grandfather want his boys to end up uh, in the war as soldiers because it were, Lithuania was not part of the Soviet Union at the time, but it was overtaken. At, and, and so hard times, but you know, with hard times you need food and potatoes easy to grow. It was a bit physical labor to, to, to crop, but, um, and then so this potato cast is going to involve a study and learning about the history of the potato. I googled it and it said something about uh, eight to ten thousand years ago the Inca Indians in South America, somewhere in Peru and Chile. Um, that's where they believe originated the potato. But we, I mean, it's tough to say because I mean, a simple potato that starts to rot grows more potatoes. This potato will grow good bunch of potatoes so maybe the potato goes back farther 10,000 20,000 50,000 a million years It'd be fun to explore and with the potato cast we'll learn many recipes little ones like garlic mashed potatoes we learn like french fries some french croquettes potato croquettes hash browns who knows but a long story short is this is my first podcast and I thank you for um, I'd say wasting your time but enjoying the, the my passion with me